Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice system of equations x plus xy plus y is equal to 6 and x squared plus y squared is equal to 12. Our job is to find all possible values of x and y. So let's start. Let's call this equation equation 1 and this equation equation 2. We multiply equation 1 by 2. Equation 1 is x plus x times y plus y is equal to 6. We multiply both sides of this equation by 2. So this is 2 times x will become 2x and 2 times xy will become plus 2xy and 2 times y will become plus 2y is equal to 6 times 2, 12. Let's call this equation equation 3. Now we add equation 2 and equation 3. So this will become left hand side of equation 2 is uh, x squared plus uh, y squared plus uh, left hand side of equation 3 is uh, 2 times x plus uh, 2xy plus uh, 2y is equal to right hand side of equation 2 is uh, 12 plus uh, right hand side of equation 3 is uh, 12. Next x squared plus uh, y squared. We write this uh, plus 2xy first plus uh, 2xy plus uh, this 2x plus uh, this 2y is equal to 12 plus 12 will become 24. This uh, x squared plus uh, y squared plus uh, 2xy will become x plus y whole squared plus uh, from these two terms uh, we can factor out 2. 2 as common factor in bracket left uh, x plus uh, y is equal to 24 and we suppose that uh, x plus uh, y is equal to n. So this equation will become m squared plus uh, 2 times m is equal to 24. Move this uh, 24 to the left hand side. So, this will become m squared plus uh, 2 times m minus 24 is equal to 0. Now, this is a quadratic equation and is factorable. We write this m squared m squared. We split this uh, 2 times m as uh, negative 4 times m plus uh, 6 times m minus 24 is equal to 0. From these two terms uh, we can factor out m in bracket left uh, m minus 4. From these two terms uh, we can factor out plus 6 in bracket left uh, m minus 4 is equal to 0. In this uh, m minus 4 is a common factor. So, we factor out this uh, m minus 4. And, uh, in bracket left, uh, this uh, m and this plus 6. In bracket left, uh, m plus uh, 6 is equal to 0. And from here, either this expression m minus 4 is equal to 0 or this expression m plus uh, 6 is equal to 0. From this equation, we get the value of m is equal to 4 and from this equation, we get the value of m is equal to negative 6. Now, recall that uh, we have supposed, we have supposed that uh, x plus y is equal to m. We have supposed that uh, x plus uh, y is equal to m. So, when m is equal to 4, then this equation will become x plus uh, y is equal to 4. And when m is equal to negative 6, then this equation will become x plus uh, y is equal to negative 6. Now, we recall equation 1. 
equation 1 is x plus x y plus y is equal to 6. Equation 1 is x plus y plus x y is equal to 6. First, in this equation, we replace this x plus y with this value 4. So, this will become 4 plus x times y is equal to 6. And if we subtract 4 from both sides, this implies that x times y is equal to 2. And with this equation, x plus y is equal to 4, we get a system of equations, we call this case 1. Now, in this equation, we replace this x plus y with this value of x plus y negative 6, then this will become negative 6 plus x times y is equal to 6. And if we add both sides, 6, this implies that x times y is equal to 12. And with this equation, x plus y is equal to negative 6, we get another system, we call this case 2. First, we solve this case 1. From this equation, we find the value of y, y is equal to 4 minus x. And in this equation, we replace this y with this value of y, 4 minus x. So this equation will become x times 4 minus x is equal to 2. And we distribute this x, x times 4 will become 4x. And x times negative x, negative x squared is equal to 2. Move these two terms to the right hand side. This will become x squared minus 4 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. And this quadratic equation is not factorable, so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula, x is equal to negative times the value of b is negative 4 plus or minus square root of in place of b squared we write a negative 4 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 2 divided by 2 times a is 1 next x is equal to negative times negative 4 will become 4 plus or minus square root of now this negative 4 squared will become 16 negative 4 times 1 times 2 will become negative 8 divided by 2 next x is equal to 4 plus minus square root of this uh, 16 minus 8 will become 8 divided by 2 and x is equal to 4 plus minus this square root of 8 can be written as a square root of 4 times square root of 2 divided by 2 and uh, x is equal to 4 plus minus uh, square root of 4 is 2 times root 2 divided by 2. Next, x is equal to, from the numerator we can factor out 2. In bracket left, 2 plus minus root 2 divided by 2. And this 2 will be cancelled out with this 2 and from here we get 2 values of x. x is equal to 2 plus root 2 and uh, x is equal to 2 minus root 2. Now, to find the values of y, we recall the equation. We recall this equation, y is equal to 4 minus x. We recall the equation, y is equal to 4 minus x. y is equal to 4 minus x. So, when x is equal to this expression, then y will be equal to 4 minus 
वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज टू प्लस रूट टू एंड वाई विल बी इक्वल टू फोर नेगेटिव टाइम्स टू नेगेटिव टू नेगेटिव टाइम्स रूट टू नेगेटिव रूट टू एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस टू टू माइनस रूट टू नाउ फ्रॉम दिस इक्वेशन वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस टू माइनस रूट टू एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस टू प्लस रूट टू एंड वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर माइनस टू टू प्लस रूट टू सो वेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू प्लस रूट टू एन वाई विल बी इक्वल टू टू माइनस रूट टू वेन एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू माइनस रूट टू देन वाई विल बी इक्वल टू टू प्लस रूट टू अब इस सेकेंड केस From this case, uh, we make y the subject of this equation. So y will be equal to negative six minus x. We replace this y with this value negative six minus six. Then this equation will become x times negative six minus x is equal to twelve. X times negative six, negative six x. x times negative x to negative x squared is equal to 12 move these two terms to the right hand side this will become x squared plus 6 times x plus 12 is equal to 0 and from this quadratic equation x is equal to negative 6 plus or minus square root of In place of b squared, we write as six squared minus four times a is one times c is twelve divided by two times a is one. Next, x is equal to negative six plus minus square root of this is six squared will become thirty six minus four times one times twelve will become. Forty-eight divided by two times one will become two. Two times one will become two, and uh, x is equal to negative six plus minus square root of thirty-six minus forty-eight will become negative twelve divided by two. Next, x is equal to negative six plus minus uh, this uh, root negative twelve can be written as uh, Root four times root negative one times root three divided by two. Next, x is equal to negative six plus minus this root four will become two. This root negative one will become i times root three divided by two. x x is equal to from the numerator we can factor out two in bracket left negative three plus minus i times root three divided by two now this two will be cancelled out with this two and from here we get two values of x x is equal to negative three plus i times root three and x is equal to negative 3 minus i times root 3 now to find the values of y we recall this equation y is equal to 6 minus x we recall the equation y is equal to negative 6 minus x y is equal to negative 6 Minus x. So when x is equal to this value, then y will be equal to negative six minus negative three plus i times root three. And y will be equal to 
negative 6, negative times negative 3 will become plus 3, and negative times plus i times root 3 will become negative i times root 3, and uh, y will be equal to negative 3 plus 3 will become negative 3 minus i times root 3. Now, when y is equal to negative 3 minus i times root c, then y will be equal to negative 6 minus negative 3 minus i times root 3. And y will be equal to negative 6, negative times negative 3 will become plus 3. Negative times negative i root 3 will become plus i times root 3 and uh, y will be equal to negative 6 plus 3 will become negative 3 plus uh, i times root 3. So, when x is equal to negative 3 plus uh, i times root 3 then y will be equal to negative 3 minus i times root 3 and when x is equal to negative 3 minus i times root 3 then y will be equal to negative 3 plus i times root. So, the final set of uh, solutions of uh, x comma y is equal to the first pair is uh, 2 plus uh, root 2 comma 2 minus root 2 and the second pair is uh, 2 minus root 2 comma 2 plus uh, root 2 and the uh, third pair is uh, negative 3 plus uh, i times uh, root 3 comma negative 3 minus i times root 3 and the fourth pair is uh, negative 3 minus i times root 3 comma negative 3 plus uh, i times root 3.